in the exchange, and now they find themselves um, in a place where they're having to buy insurance that they don't really want or need, at prices they can't afford, and the, and the deductibles are really high. Um, so it's, it hasn't been affordable either. Um, I haven't been supportive of the law um, since its beginning, but I will tell you this, I think it's, I, though I don't support it, a lot of my constituents are getting hurt, and I'm their best access point to the federal government, and I'm doing all I can, uh, while this is the law of the land, to help them navigate it and make sure they get coverage. If you are, uh, if you're a family, if you're an individual and you've lost your health care, coverage, it's a frightening thing. Um, uh, and maybe just one quick note on that. Some people don't know what members of Congress, uh, some people think we're not in Obamacare, some think we are. I'm in. I had the privilege of going to the website and signing up and getting a password and going to the, I have six kids, so I had to put all their names and social security numbers in, and I got to the very end, and it kicked me out. I tried to re-sign back in, and I couldn't get in. Um, they make us sign up for the D.C. exchange, uh, even though I'm from Wisconsin, that's what they make us do. Um, I got a notice that I don't have insurance because I don't live in D.C., which they're right, but they told me I had to do that. Um, we're pregnant with the seven kids, and I haven't got a card that says I have insurance yet. Um, <coughs> Listen, but if this is the experience that everyone else should have, why not me too? I, you know, we're all in it together. My one concern, though, is that um, members of Congress are going to be in. My team is in uh, Obamacare. I think if this is good enough for all of you, it's good enough for members of Congress. I do think it's good. It should be good enough for the president and the president's administration. That whole team should be part of it. These are the people who are implementing the law, and they're not subject to the law. And I think if, if uh, your own family is going to have to go to the website and sign up to get insurance, uh, you might have a, a little more caring touch, making sure the website works. Um, it's not just some schmuck down the street. You have to use it too. Um, and again, I think when you have laws to pass that are only subject uh, to people, but not to uh, the elite bureaucrats, that's a problem in government. And I do think that's, that, that is one rub. And you might see some better changes if the uh, if the executive branch was in Obamacare. And frankly, I think the judiciary, they say it's constitutional. That's great. <laughs> you guys come on in and join the rest of the, the, the legislative branch and, uh, and the health care plan. I'm sure we'll have some questions on that, too. That's that's kind of my uh, brief overview. Um, will anyone have some issues continuing as we roll forward uh, with, with its implementation? I do think the website is going to start to work a lot better. The front end, when you go on the website, is working um, better. The problem is in the back end, when they send your information over to the insurers, it is, uh, it's not working. I mean, it's just it's not happening very well, and that's why a lot of insurers don't know who has, um, who has insurance, who doesn't have insurance. They have some of your information. They might have some of someone else's information. So that needs to get worked out. Um, but I think the, the final chapter there hasn't been written. So with that... Oh, it's five minutes um, or six minutes. Um, look forward to your comments or questions. And, and I know we have a wide range of, uh, of issues and political beliefs here. I guess I'd ask you to be respectful to uh, make your comment or ask your question. Give me a chance to, to, to answer it. Uh, we do have a lot of questions, so I want to make sure we are, we're able to get through all of them this morning. And uh, I think this is a great part of politics is to actually engage in a conversation. And I think those... Um, who disagree or disagree with me, regardless, um, I'll welcome you to help change my mind, give me a different perspective. It's important for me to understand where you all are coming from so I can do a better job representing you. And that's why I think these town halls have been important. I do one in every county every year, um, and this is part of that process, and I often have to do more of the coffees with the congressman too, which are more than a year. Um, but with that, thank you.